Back in lawmakers in the Senate heard about a bill this afternoon that would require Marion County landlords to fix issues they were cited for at a property before renting it out again. 13 News State House reporter Emily Longnecker joins us with what happened to this particular bill. Emily. Lawmakers in the Senate Judiciary Committee voted five to five today, essentially killing this bill, but not before housing advocates and tenants told lawmakers that they believe there is a housing crisis in Indiana, one they are seeing and living. Five to five does not pass. I'm living in my prison instead of a home. Maria Rodriguez Jr. told lawmakers she's living that crisis every day in her rental property in Columbus. A property Rodriguez said is infested with roaches. Now I'm bit up. My whole body is bit. Had Senate Bill 243 passed out of committee and eventually become law, it would not have helped Rodriguez, who lives in Bartholomew County. The bill was focused solely on Marion County and gave the Health and Hospital Corporation the ability to force landlords to fix issues in a property, even if someone had moved out or was evicted. So what this would do is it would allow us to tie the code violations to the property and not to the tenant. Right now, once a property is vacant, the code violation goes away and Health and Hospital has no way to follow through to make sure a problem gets fixed. Housing advocates who testified Thursday said they'd like to see all counties in Indiana have a way to force landlords to fix issues, not just Marion County, which accounts for 40 percent of the state's evictions. The other 91 counties account for 60 percent. Because there is such a shortage of housing in the state that unfortunately tenants are forced to go into really bad situations simply because there's nowhere to go. That's the situation Maria Rodriguez says she finds herself in right now, stuck between living with roaches. It's not okay. When I keep saying it's okay, it's not because I want to cry. Or being unhoused again because she can't afford to move but can't afford to stay. Our home is where our heart is. You're taking my soul away and saying I have a home. So Senate Bill 243 not getting out of committee today, but one of the bill's authors, Democratic Senator Andrea Hunley, telling me now there is a conversation on record, people telling lawmakers that there is a housing crisis in Indiana for safe and affordable housing. At the Indiana State House, Emily Longnecker, 13